Okay guys, we're here. We made it to the airport. Got our passport. Our boarding passes are done. We have our carry-ons. Our birds and carry-ons. Hi to all of our family. We'll be seeing this soon. Day one, we're about to fly out and we'll take you along with our adventures. Frankfurt, Germany. Last flight was like eight hours, didn't really get any sleep. Here's our gate number right there, A28. We're flying with Lufthansa. It's been really good and we had a lot of good meals, which was amazing, and it's been such a blast. So yep. we're ready for a 50-minute flight and then we're out of here. We just landed in Munich. We got our car rental from Enterprise. We got a nice little Ford door it's perfect and we are on the autobahn for our first time Jenny back here she's from Germany so she's trying to guide us around and teach us how to read all these signs you focus Corbin right now I'm going 150 kilometers don't ask me how many miles per hour this is the autobahn guys you can see how much it is so guys we just made it to this place called called Rotten how do you say Rottenburg. Our next adventure is getting a few photos and then finding somewhere to eat. Guys, we found the iconic spot that you see all over Google. So we had to uh, be basic and take a few pics. We just climbed up these super narrow stairs. It was scary. And now it's time to go get food. Are you excited? I am starved. <laughs> just found an amazing German restaurant. We are about to chow down. So we just got to Switzerland. There's no border control. We're kind of illegally in here, but this is just amazing. Like we just saw a train go past and it was beautiful. You can literally hear the cowbells ringing outside. I thought that would just be a myth, but it's actually true. We're about to find the cable car and take it up. You've never been on one of these before, have you? Nope, I'm excited. It's about to it be beautiful. Cold. I have on a t-shirt, two sweaters, and a jacket. You excited? I am super excited. We're just trying to find the right path. Not really sure where we're supposed to go. So, we just got off the cable car, which is right there, and we found our first sign. We took the first little pathway down. And what we're trying to find is a lake and um, a hotel on a cliff, which is really popular. Like, it's on Google and stuff, which is called Osher. So, right there, this is Osher. So, we are heading this way to find that it's gonna be like a two hour hike <laughs> the first stop we found which was only like a minute from the cable car surprisingly was this amazing cave that you walk through and it comes out to the most beautiful view so this was totally uh, so cool didn't expect it wow this is literally picture perfect i'm freaking out uh, dad wish you were here Okay, so this place costs $62 to take a cable car, in case any of you were wondering, and it is right by Appenzell, Switzerland. It was worth every cent, and we've only spent a minute here so far. There it is. There it is. Oh, that was only like a three minute walk. It's amazing, it's literally built into the rock. This is something you have to see. And next we're going... Down to that lake, if you can see it down there. I'll let you know how long that takes us. So we found the lake. It's beautiful. And we brought food that our friend Jenny Pretzels. got for us. And we brought bananas, so we have some snacks. Okay, so I have some travel tips for today. So the first thing is, don't buy bananas at a Shell gas station because they're $8. If you do end up coming by Appenzell, which is where like Sealpasi is, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's this lake. And then there's like the hotel on the hill that I just showed. If you do come here, take the cable car up, just pay for one way, take the cable car up, go through the cave, see the little house that I filmed and the cave that I filmed, and then walk down the two hour hike to this lake and then walk 40 minutes back to the car to the parking lot so that's definitely two tips and when you're in switzerland always bring umbrellas because it just randomly rains all the time so anyway it's been amazing and we'll be showing you more of the lake it's beautiful
hiking for maybe four hours or so. We have our last 20 minute stretch. It's pouring on us. Good morning, Switzerland. Here we are, day three. Look at our view. Last night we checked into the cutest hotel. adventure is to go to Labertezzo. Corbin is on the lookout to find me a rock. He says that these waters are very dangerous and if you slip and fall you'll die. This is the most mint colored water I've ever seen in my entire life. The drive here was absolutely incredible. It was about 10 miles from where our hotel was, and it was yeah. very thin roads, but. It's a lot than our springs. Is it freezing? Yeah. Oh, you got a rock? Show us. Good job. How cold is it? Um, my fingers are red instantly. I'm not going swimming. There's some people out here doing like a legit photo shoot, so this is pretty cool. Having fun, Corbin. How, what do you rate this place? 11 out of 10. We made it to Furka. This is like the prettiest place ever. The drive is amazing. There's waterfalls everywhere. Valleys, there's snow in the mountains. Look at the snow. Ah, uh, so cool. Well, we just came to a dead end. So the road is closed and we don't have any directions. We're in the middle of nowhere with no internet. So we're gonna see if we can figure this out. Corbin, you think you can figure this out? Yeah. So, we just gotta go down a very skinny road. Oh boy, on the side of a mountain. So Corbin suggests taking this random pathway and praying that it leads to something because if not then we have to backtrack hours and there's no other way to make it to Interlochen, so you ready for this? See if we survive. This is what adventures are made of. This is beaut. It's taking the road less traveled. Dad, you'd be proud of us. This is something you would do. But we won't tell you until after we do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we took a little pit stop because this is picture perfect and I have to get a picture for a company called Genius Pack, which is an amazing suitcase, by the way. Um, and literally we have to stop to get this picture because <laughs> this is what I've been dreaming of getting. Uh, here's a beautiful little fiesta. Oh, this is gonna be the shot. Oh my, I am stoked. Are you excited, Corbin? Very excited. Woo, let's get it. So here's the bad news. This road, wait, I'm supposed to turn. Hold on, it looked like that way. Oh, that can't be a way. Just keep going, I'll see. Okay, Corbin, we have to turn around. There's no way, we can't drive on this. The bad news is there's snow everywhere, so now we don't know what to do. So that's stupid. There's tire tracks going through the snow. <sighs> Corbin is currently walking to see if this is something we can drive. Oh my gosh, my heart. I've slipped on roads too many times in my life to uh, die in Switzerland, so pray for us. Well, here we are out in the middle of nowhere with no service and it shows that our path is way over here, which we can't get to because the roads are closed and we are on some random snowy path. I don't even know. Definitely not happy. How do you feel about this, Corbin? Confident? Yep. Confident Corbin. as always. Corbin's always confident. Dad, we need you. Oh my gosh. We're so far from the highway right now, Atlanta. 
I, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to figure this out. Well, the road uh, kind of ended on us, so now we're backing up. Corbin, you still confident? Well, I can't drive through that thick of snow up there. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're gonna try to back up for a mile, so here we go. We're literally driving on grass right now, up a hill, up a mountain, not a hill. Uh, Corbin, you still confident? Yep. Yep. Guys, we love you all. Well, we took the wrong way for sure, or at least it was scary and we couldn't go. So now I'm directing Corbin on the edge of this cliff. Keep going, Corbin. To back up like a half a mile. So that's fun. <sighs> Guys, we have a hotel waiting for us and it's like two hours away, so. I don't even know. We have to backtrack for an hour and then try to see if we'll, we can connect to internet to uh, get us somewhere. Because we don't even know if there's a second way to get there. So, hmm. Your travel tip for the day? Don't ever listen to Siri. Yeah, don't ever listen to Siri. Siri brought us on this road that obviously has not been driven on in generations. It literally, guys, do you see this? This road is not even a road. It's in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why. But the road we wanted to go on was closed, so now we have to go down the wrong way, one-way road, so I'm gonna get off before the car crashes. Corbin, are you excited to eat at the most authentic place in Switzerland? I'm super stoked to have found a burger king. Oh, this is our reward for Corbin never losing his confidence while on that path that almost killed us. This is the highlight of the whole trip. This is the best burger king I've ever had. <laughs> it is. The fries. Cold and these french fries are. They're amazing. How's the water? Is it mineral? <coughs> Guys, all the water here, by the way, is like sparkling water. I don't know. That's a thing. It was $16 per sandwich. Like per meal. That's crazy. So different than America, but we're loving it. We took a little pit stop to this random lake that we were driving past. Oh, what a beautiful place. Man, the water is just so mint everywhere that we go. This is refreshing after being on a scary road and now we're heading toward a hotel. Let's go. We are currently looking around the hotel that we just checked into. There's a jacuzzi. It's like the perfect Switzerland look. Garden. There's a garden. Corbin, you like this one? I love this one. Well, we made it to Lauterbrunnen. It was a long drive. We went like eight hours maybe out of our way for this. It's beautiful. It's a famous place. We're happy to be here. It's freezing. It's like 34 degrees. So, day four. Day four, Lauterbrunnen, Switzerland. We hiked all the way up here to Stillbotch Falls. We are hoping that it'd bring us down to the bottom. Unfortunately, it brought us to the middle. But it is beautiful here, and the whole village and the waterfall are really pretty. I would rate this place five out of 10. Five out of 10. Can you start with water on this place? 